Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new, I am your host, Leah Apocrypha, and it is a pleasure to meet you. If you are returning, welcome back, so family. I love you guys. Hugs. <laughs> Whether you're new or you're returning, thank you so very much for being here. I really, truly, deeply appreciate each and every single one of you guys. So, disclaimers, information, and decks are in the description box down below. If you are interested, please have a look. Um, just know my style of reading is very blunt and to the point. I don't sugarcoat shit. If I see some stuff that's triggering, I'm going to say it no matter what it is. So this is your one and only warning. Heed it, please. Um, it's all in love. It's to help us grow and learn and move forward because I personally believe that the more we force ourselves or the more that we don't allow ourselves to face the truth as blunt as possible, the more we are allowing ourselves to stay stuck and allow things, people, places, and things to take our power from us and keep us hostage in some way. So today there are three decks that called out to me. We have the Golden Art Nouveau. We have, uh, this is just a Spencer's deck, but it's a really good, very, very beautiful deck. And then we have the Occult Tarot. So, I'm going to turn on the light. Sorry, I could have just done that. Anyway, we're just going to jump right into it because that's how I like to do it. So, thank you for being here. If you're new, welcome again. I hope you'll consider joining this little sub family we have going on here by subscribing. It would greatly help out and it would let me know that people actually are receiving the messages and liking them. I hope that everyone is, whoa, there's a lot of cards that wanted to fall out. I saw the tower, I saw the ace of swords, I see the devil. Let's go! Let's see. Maybe it's about love. Again. Why? I don't know. Okay. So, right off the bat, they wanted to split in two separate piles. So, let's see. On the right side, we have the tower in reverse. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. We have temperance in reverse. And we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. So, I'm going to put that at the top row. I'm going to put this at the bottom row. We have the Ace of, the Ace of Cups upright. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have Justice Upright, and we have the Devil in Reverse, okay? I find it kind of interesting that both piles are even, both piles that fell out, fell out as four and four. So, with the Two of Cups under the deck, I'm feeling that this has to do with a love connection, perhaps a career, a family member, a friend, a, some kind of partnership or relationship I saw for 20. Um, but it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be though, okay? So on one side, we have someone who is building strong foundations for themselves. They're tired of building false foundations. They're tired of being in this kind of energy where they allow people, places, and things to tear them down. They want to build something stable. 
for themselves and whoever it is that their energy is connected to. But there's something that they're not seeing. Because I'm being called to this woman here. And she's falling with her hands covering her face. Right? It's like she knows what is inevitable. They're falling. Perhaps even to their demise. Perhaps into water. We don't know. But she's covering her eyes like she doesn't want to see something that is the truth. Like she is She knows the end is coming, but she'd rather live her last moment without seeing it coming. Does that make sense? As gruesome as that may be. And you know, if you've watched my readings before, I've never channeled this card in that way before. The crown is falling, but interestingly enough you see we have the crown here is falling off the tower but the crown on her head right here is still on her head it's like there's something that she knows hmm there's an aspect of it that is going to make the tower crumble. Something that's going to shake up the foundation, she knows it. And she doesn't want to see it. That's very interesting. Now let's go on to the next card. The Five of Pentacles. So... Okay. This person 